Okay, so now I've copied my tabs around my object here. Next thing I'm going to do is select the uh, boxes and this uh, sphere that's going around it. Uh, so these are not the uh, three-dimensional objects. These are just the two-dimensional objects. So I'm going to weld them together. So I create that. Uh, and then I'm going to create a box to sort of surround this whole shape. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate a uh, path to cut that out, uh, pocket out that whole area. So I'm at three inches. I'm going to pocket out uh, 2.8. Yeah, we can do that. Or 2.75. Um, actually, I want to do 2.8 so I can see the definition of these uh, little tabs. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll preview what that looks like. And it's basically just cutting down the shape here. Now the next steps will be to uh, do a roughing machine path using the model boundary. So here's that. And then that will rough out that whole shape down to those tabs. And then finally, I'll do a calculation on the... 3D finish, uh, and then there's that. Um, so you can see that that's going to get it down to the size shape that it wants to be. Now keep in mind, this is a six inch piece of foam, and to do that cut down there, you'd need two and a, an eighth uh, inch bit or three inch cutting uh, bit. So that's nine inches. So that's well over a seven inch uh, machine bed depth. Um, so to do this, uh, you'd either need a 12 inch machine bed depth or something over that or you would need to do a slice which we'll do in the next uh, tutorial but otherwise you can just copy these things to the other side and you'd be able to flip it you'd need some indexing holes here in your uh, table surface and in this model so that you could have a way to flip it over and keep it in uh, the correct alignment but here's how it's done uh, through a six inch piece